This is Tom Moriello, creator of the CSI Checklist app, and this is Check It Off, a short three to five minute training vignette posted each week to increase the skills of crime scene responders as well as demonstrate the utility of the CSI Checklist app, available now to be uploaded in your mobile device. Each week, I post a new vignette that will jog the memory of the well-trained investigator as well as increase the skills of all who are called upon to provide services at crime scene investigations. Each training vignette will highlight activities associated with one of the checklists in the app. This week, we'll go to checklist number 10, Forensic Sciences Resources. 10A, Forensic Anthropology, Recovery and Analysis of Human Skeletal Remains. Let's check it off. We have found skeletal remains at our scene. First thing, do not touch or move them at all. If you find that that has been done prior to you getting there, just stop time. Don't move anything any further. Don't try to move it back. Do not dig the earth surrounding the bones. Don't stop looking for information or identification, etc. Leave that for the forensic anthropologist, which is the next thing you should be doing. Uh, request the medical examiner or coroner, and hopefully they will have a forensic anthropologist on staff uh, or under contract. Next thing, there should be two perimeters that you need to control. The first one is an inner perimeter around the remains and that is where the anthropologist and the medical examiner will work. Stay away from there completely. Don't let anybody there. The second perimeter, the outer perimeter, is where your, uh, your evidence technicians, investigators, and other people who are allowed on the crime scene should be. But they must stay away from that inner perimeter and let the anthropologist and the medical examiner do their job. Next, before disturbing the scene, make written in photographic records. Make sure all that is done before all these other resources come. Many times skeletal remains end up to be animal uh, bones. So the key thing that you're looking for from the anthropologist and the medical examiner is are these human bones or are they animal bones? Has the skeletal remains been recently disturbed? You are the first one there. You're going to be there before all these resources. Look around. Does it look like it's been recently disturbed or that it's been there for a period of time? What kind of artifacts appear with the remains? Could be anything. So you should be looking for false teeth, dental fillings, coins, beads, jewelry, pottery, anything that may associate with, with um, um, the, uh, the victim. Want to learn more about the CSI Checklist app? Then go to our website listed here. Please share this with your colleagues. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at info at CSIChecklist.com. Until next time, I'm Tom Moriello. Be safe.